Come on, baby. Hello, hello, hello. Someone has asked to be in our live video. We're going to let them. Okay. <laughs> hello, good evening, good evening, good evening. From Lebu and Toya. How you doing? So we had said we were going to go live on Insta uh, this evening and um, we were pretty held up and we got caught up in um, amazing conversations on Facebook. Um, so we're here now. Sorry we're late. Thousand apologies I'm for being totally late. Please. Yes, please. You got a longer answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, how you guys doing? I, we love you guys too. We love you guys too. <laughs> Hello, this everyone. Is... Hi, guys. Hey, guys. When did you start dating? Um. About a day after Valentine. No, actually, was that the official time we dated? I asked you out on Valentine's Day. You did. And then we kissed on the 15th. On, on the, the 15th, day after, the day Valentine's, after Day. Valentine's Day. And then I, and then I was shady because I was just like, <laughs> I was <laughs> shady I because I was confused. I felt very confused about the fact that I had these feelings for a woman. Um, and, um, so I started going a little silent and then she introduced me to a, a, a disappearing act on me for about a week, a week. I disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for about a week and, and then, and then you introduced me. To a hot ex. <laughs> Zaza. Zaza, if you're there. It's just not here. You made it all happen. So she introduced you got me. Jealous. Oh, so jealous, baby. <laughs> I was like, what? I could not believe it. And I was, hey, Tabby, how are you, my love? Uh, um, SB babe. 1929, Arletoya. Come to me, man, man. Come on, oh. Ah, faceless. Okay. Why would you faceless? Show your picture when I SV. Maybe she'll do something about it. Oh, dumb man. Let's move on. <laughs> How does a faceless person ask you out? Say, come Get to me. Bad. I, I, come to me, come nana. Come to me, nana. I, what do you have saying, to offer? He's not even saying, nana, can I come to you? How? Oh, you know. come. It's like those guys... <laughs> We remember that <laughs> restaurant we walked into and those guys yeah. sent the waiter yeah. to call me yeah. to, come to, to them. come to them. Can I learn that, baby? The audacity. Man. Anyway, mm. another story for another day. And we love you. Who's Give dead? Daddy. Daddy, I'm dead. I don't have fucking balls. <laughs> you, I know. We know. We know. Yeah, we're late. Sorry, Anastasia. Sorry. Um, we spent more time on Facebook than we expected. People engaged. A People lot. were excited to have us online. Uh, we sincerely apologize. When am I coming back to Generations? Tomorrow! Tomorrow! She's on air tomorrow. Sikelo, see me. Sikelo, see me, ne? Yes. Just love you We guys. love you too, Chakeni. Thank you. Okay, good night to you too. Thank hey, Masha. I'm paying attention to you. I see you comment a lot on our post. Hello, Masha. We look good Thank together. Thank you, Gook. 5625. Dumelang Tibo. 
Hey there, beautiful couple. Hey guys. Okay, so do you guys have any questions? This is pretty much the Yeah, platform. you guys are congratulating us that you're trying. Beautiful. But we just decided we're going to create this platform for people who have a lot of questions. Whatever your questions are, whether they are what society may um, look at as uncomfortable questions. We, oh, wait, you guys are dating? Yes, we are. It's Sibo. Yes, we are dating. We're We've dating. been dating for a while. I'm actually planning to get married now. It's so, yeah. Hey now, my favorite. Hey, what's up? You're still bullshit when your article is bullshit too. Okay, no, no. Okay, baby, 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 baby. Now remember, this is not Facebook. Remember Facebook? I knew that the love was going to come in abundance. This is Instagram. It's finally Yeah, can Twitter. I respond? It's finally Twitter. Okay. Can I respond? Are you going to be okay? Can I stand? No, come on, please. Not I just don't feel like some of these people are worth engaging. So you don't you, you don't want to... But for the fact that he said your article is bullshit to let me engage him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have to think about what you're gonna say? To space it alone man. I'm even tempted to say your massive. For protecting you, my love. Does he know how for much you get paid for that for shit? Wait, stop, 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 stop. Does, Does he know? Does he know? <laughs> Does he know? 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 Fuck I man. I know. Like I, I really, see you know, there, there always has to be the odd one. Eh? And, and I'm really concerned about people who make a point of coming onto your timeline or coming onto your live video. They open to accounts you. to do that. To insult you. They open accounts to do like that. Like if you have nothing. They circles. If there's one thing that we were raised to live by is if you've got nothing nice to say, keep quiet. But, but but that's what I expect mothers to teach their kids, which is why I'm saying your mother. No, mothers teach their kids oh, the shit. But, but whether but your they, kid they, is going to open take that accounts to do this, which is why there's a non-existent account without a photo, without a face, without a profile, faces. with one one post and da, da, da. So 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 now. They discover, okay, these two are in love, or these two have, 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 have announced that they're in love. And then these people now go and create an account just to come and insult you. And you find it's people you actually know. This no, is why is. they've got to go it's and create. It's always the case. More often than not, yeah. it's always people that you know. Huh? Uh, misery loves, loves company. company. Because it takes a lot of time to do for that. For you, yeah. I come here to post my personal stuff. I can't imagine just going through life, stalking someone uh, and posting negative. Misery loves company. You know? It's negative. Hey? Yeah. It's and, negative. Anyway, that's anyway. fine. I'm, I'm sorry for swearing. I know you hate it when I do it. But uh, your boost when, uh, whoever you are, fuck man. <laughs> this is straight. Don't fucking criticize my writing. I wrote for my woman. I love my woman. I wrote for my woman. Um, <clears throat> with lots of love and actually it was yeah with lots of love and all of this came from the bottom of my heart because i don't believe society needs to judge us for anything that we're doing um we are content and very very happy with our lives and everyone must just get on the bus and enjoy the ride with us um Vusmuzi says he battles to find noma temba oh my gosh noma temba was a track that i did with schoolgirls ah. i was 16 when we recorded this track and remember those years when i was 16 i'm 35 now so uh when i was 16 social media was not what it is today um, um social 
media platforms was not what it is today. And um, unfortunately, uh, I have battled to find the music to upload onto your iTunes, onto your social media platforms myself. Um, there was a specific company that was involved in, in that album. And unfortunately, unless we were able to pay them very, very, very large amounts of money to release that music, um, we can't actually get it. So sorry about that. Uh, I'll see what I can do. But I know that a lot of you find ways to find videos and then you post it on YouTube. So if I find it, I'll post it onto my timeline and you guys will know about it. How was your first kiss? Ah! You I'm, I'm going to go first. You have to. I'm not going to say anything. Mm. 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 Guys, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> the first kiss. Look at these lips. I don't know. Like, if this doesn't answer your question, <laughs> I don't know. Mm. I say it. Oh, yeah. mm, 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 say it, say it. Same. Oh God, she weakened me. Like she literally, <laughs> I was not, I was not ready for that. I was not ready for how that kiss would make me feel. I was not ready for how that kiss would weaken me at my knees. It was the best first kiss ever in my entire life. Out of all the first yeah, kisses yeah. that I've ever had, maybe yours is the best. Stop putting out your tongue. <laughs> okay. Uh, he's got the, the negative he's, people. He's, yeah, he's back here. Uh, okay, what, now. Uh, what, look at what. Uh, 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 when will you come back to Generations tomorrow? Tomorrow. tomorrow. Yes. City Packard is back tomorrow. Oh, this guy is totally out to hate us. We're going to ignore you. We're going to ignore him. Okay. Do We're going to ignore that. him. We're going to ignore him. Yes, we are fucked up. <laughs> do you want to join us? Wait. Baby. Sip, uh, baby. 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 It's coming out. Okay. It's coming out. Okay, love. We are. Forget his existence. Forget his existence. Okay. 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 Cool. Do you want us to go? No, don't worry. You're going to get it still. Like, we kiss a lot. Like we forget ourselves. Stop it. <laughs> we totally forget ourselves. <laughs> uh, oh, Lady B. Hello, Lady B. 238. Thank you. Yeah. I don't know how to I've taken over now, Deb Zakano. No more Jack. Level your voice. She does. She's got the most soothing voice, doesn't she? She's got the most beautiful. Oh, Nike. Mo and something I tell you all the time. Yes, you've you just do. got the most. And I have a problem with my voice. Because it's all high. Think it's squeaky. And it's, it's not squeaky. It's, so childish it's comforting. And... Mm. It's comforting, mm. baby. Mm. When are you coming back to Generation? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. I love ya. Tomorrow. You're only a day away. Uh, Rachela Rose, yes, there will be a wedding very, very soon, sooner than you expect. I am working on it. Yeah! Yay! Yes. I am marrying this woman. I don't have any questions. Questions. I just love you guys. Nyang Busisa, keep it up. I love you. Love you too, Cindy. CD. Love you guys. We. Love you too, though. Love you too, guys. Hey, Thanks for the love. How are you doing, cuz? Hey, my love. Hey, Kabu. Hey, guys. Oh, wait. Can you kindly navigate how, how we... Can you kindly share... How we navigate parenting as queer parents. Um, I think it probably is easier because we're, oh God, I've heard the terms lesbian. 
I, I knew I'm lesbian now. I knew I'm gay, but I've never been called queer. Baby, what do you think queer means in LGBTQI? And I tell you all the time, you ask... Them, no, the Q you, is queer, yeah, right? You must familiarize yourself. No, 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 no I do. Words. No, 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 no. I just, you think queer is more like... She had a queer feeling that they were being Okay, white. let me say queer... LGBTQI. Um, as queer parents, how have we been navigating this parenting thing? Um, I look at the end of the day, our kids have fathers, um, and just read this first. LGBT. You want me to read this? is an initialism that stands for lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender. In use since the 1990s, the term is an adaption of the initialism LGB, which was, baby, why are you scrolling? I'm not finished sorry, reading. Sorry. Which was used to replace the term gay in reference to the LGBT community being in the mid, late 1990, 90, but it still this doesn't is a say whole what Wikipedia. being queer is. It, it's a whole Wikipedia. It says nothing about queer, though. Um, it's a whole Wikipedia, so it gets to queer. So the <clears throat> initialism, okay, to recognize this inclusion, a popular variant adds the letter Q mm. for those who identify as queer or are questioning their sexual identity. Okay, so queer is not... So queer is those... When you think queer, in my head... Sexual. Okay, Pansexual. Like, like you said earlier on, you are questioning your identity. You don't know where you stand. And no, I, no, no. I didn't say I don't know where I stand. I'm in love with a woman. So I automatically, because of society and where society stands, being in love with a woman puts me... Under the bracket of... Lesbian. Lesbian. I'm lesbian. And there's no two ways about it. But but you're we, pansexual because you fall in love with anyone irregardless of their gender. There's no word such as irregardless, baby. Did you know that? <laughs> it's regardless. Ah, my earrings! Yes, yes, I'm sorry. Earrings. Oh okay, hold the front. I'll put the earring back in. Hold. <laughs> no, I'll put the earring back. Where's the stopper? Here it is. <gasps> Caught it. Wait, okay. Guys. Um, okay, that's fine. I told you I don't know English. No, you. I tell you all the uh, You. Uh, like, freaking amazing writer of the year. I can write English. I don't know it. Yeah. I get more suit too, baby. <laughs> it's not our okay, first language. That's... So, um, what was... So, sorry, someone asked a question and we actually did not... We deviated. Um... I do apologize. Why is this phone not charging, love? Because... Okay. Um, what did they ask us about being queer? Let's move on. We can't remember. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, she wanted to know, how do we navigate parenting as queer parents? <clears throat> as best as we can. We've got seven children between us. We've got sons that we're raising. In fact, we've only got two daughters. Out of the seven kids, two of them are girls, and the rest of them are young men. We do the best that we can as mothers, um, but also keeping in mind that we co-parent with our children's fathers. Um, I cannot teach my sons how to be a man. I can teach them how to treat a woman. I can teach them how to be loving and respectful of a woman. I can teach them how to treat me. I can teach them how to treat their sisters and hope and pray that they will take these lessons and treat the women in their lives the way they have treated us with kindness and with gentleness. Um, but <clears throat> the rest on how to be a man is going to be up to their fathers. And this is why, for me, it is important that their fathers play a role in their lives. But for the fathers that don't want to be involved in their children's lives, 
um, we do the best that we possibly can do. Uh, you're asking us how it is to be queer parents because we're two mothers. But what about the single mom out there who's having to do it on her yeah, own? Yes, baby. And, and, and she's got no support, whether it's financial support, whether it's emotional support from the child's father. There's absolutely no involvement in how that young boy or the young girl is raised. And um, so... I know it seems really weird because we're two women raising kids, but we're still two people raising kids. We could have been single moms. I could have been one woman raising my kids. She could have been one woman raising her kids, but we decided to do it together. Um, actually, wh what I wanted to say is, um, according to st statistics, if I'm not mistaken, just over 70% of children in South Africa do not have father figures. Okay, I personally was raised in a home where there was a mother, an aunt, and a grandmother, you know, and, and that's all I know. So, um, families with females in households raising kids, co raising kids in this country is a very, very common thing. Yeah, actually, in this country, more grandmothers have raised their kids than the mothers have because the mothers have always had to go out and work okay so the concept of women cohabiting under different circumstances to raise kids is not new to us yeah. only with us and um, the sexuality involved in kenya they're doing it right now there's a village there's where a women village. Yes. are raising women have run yes. away from their uh, abusive homes yeah. or relationships and there's a village where women are able to now raise children together. Oh my gosh, the questions now are rolling so, Sophie in. Sophie wanted to know how we met. There's a Sophie who wanted to know how we met. Um, so we're going to try and answer all these questions as best as we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But these questions yeah, are coming yeah. in really fast. Uh, where is your baby? My baby, <clears throat> if you're talking about my little baby, Kopano. to the name? Uh, sorry, uh, where is sure? Yo, I said Pongolo, Puli Ne Eman, Puli Dube, Puli Dube has asked me my baby is my day. Question, like, my baby is, is in bed sleeping. That's it. No, my baby is in bed sleeping at home with his father. So we do, but basically, I have decided that it's very important for me to have my my children's fathers involved in their children's lives. And so between me and the fathers, we have arrangements in place. And my little one is with his dad right now, and he's probably sleeping. And the other three are here with um, my other kids who are Lebu's children, and they're downstairs, actually, yes, not sleeping. You're so polite. Yeah, no, sometimes, ah. you know, sometimes people are genuinely confused. And, and they are asking questions that may seem like they are unreasonable Nasty. or offensive, mm -hmm. but um, people don't know better. Okay. And I think sometimes it's up to us to be kind enough to, to explain to people and to take them on a journey. Enough. I know you don't, but that's mm -hmm. what makes you a good businesswoman. Okay. You don't have patience for bullshit. I do not. That is what makes you that a good businesswoman. That for me was a bullshit question. But no. Okay, but it, I, it was I, gack. I it was gack. Your, it, it doesn't matter where my child is right politeness. now. I love your I love how you respond to these things. I, I, Thank I, you, baby. I, yeah. Can because you finish I, the ex story too? Which ex story? <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'm not really understanding what the ex story is. Um, when did I realize I'm lesbian? When I fell in love with her. I didn't know I'm lesbian. <clears throat> I've never been lesbian. Being with a woman was never a choice uh, until I met with this woman who made me feel like all I wanted was to be with her. How long have we been dating? Is it about four months now? Four months, yeah. Are we staying together? We are. In fact, we got caught up in lockdown together. <laughs> you know, I, I can begin. It's a, <laughs> lockdown happened. Lockdown.
lockdown <laughs> happened, and so <laughs> we were, couldn't go anywhere. We were stuck here. Go the law didn't allow you to leave. <laughs> it didn't allow Blame me it to all on Sir Ramaphosa and Becky Kaila. <laughs> oh, oh, we boy. love you too. Thank you. How did the romance start? I know you you met four years back. Okay, someone's done their research. Um, I think and didn't change exchange numbers. So when did we meet? We met at Lebu's. My father had committed to go and sing at Lebu's grandmother's 99th birthday on Valentine's Day this year. And he dragged me along, um, got there, and I also sang. And um, before we knew Ooh. it... <laughs> I no, talk, sorry. I'm and sorry. before we knew it, we, we got talking, and that's where we met. How was our first kiss? You can like can we stop talking about this first kiss, please? Thank you. Thank how you. Were our, how was our our family's reaction to our announcement? There's just so There's much. There's a going lot on coming here. in at once, yeah. eh? Yeah. Uh family's reaction. My family was pretty I think they probably had their shock. Um, especially because um I think about a week, um, prior to me really deciding that I'm going to, two weeks, about two weeks before I decided that I really want to be with you. Um, I literally had a moment with my dad where I was saying to him, I don't know what the hell you're trying to do here, but na gugu shame. <laughs> shame. I said it to my dad. I was like, get, get the memory. you are trying to get me. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, shem. <laughs> Over my dead body. But that was just me trying to convince myself. <laughs> because I knew that I was feeling something for her already. But I was trying to run away from the fact that I am feeling something for her. And you know when you like secretly wish that your father would be against everything that you're going through because you're hoping that he will say this thing that you need him to say so that you can just walk away from, from what you're feeling. But, but my father what, wasn't that man. He didn't try to convince me I've that it's wrong. I've been friends with your dad for over 10 years and he loves me. I know he loves you. And, and he I probably told him I've got a crush on you. And he, and do you know why he loves you, um, Lebu? Um, He's watched me come in and out of unhealthy relationships. Mind you, I'm the person who doesn't date a lot, yeah. but I date and then I settle down yeah. very, very quickly. Yeah. Um and unfortunately as a father, he's suddenly found himself on the outside looking into relationships where his daughter was in danger, whether it was in danger of a physical abuse or an emotional abuse. He found that his daughter wasn't in a safe space. Um, and I think because he knew you for over 10 years, years, he knew your spirit, he knew who you are. And he probably for the first time in his life as a father realized that I would be safe with you. Yeah. You get me. But you told him you don't want me. And it was not up to him until, anyway. Until I dropped the bomb on him <laughs> and said to him, Thank you so much, I am with her. <laughs> uh, Kanya Sigogo, no, we are not entertaining any negativity. negativity. Uh, thank you so much for your words of wisdom. We are in love. What's happening out there does not have any effect in, uh, uh, on us at, 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 at all. What matters is our love for each other. Thank you for your kind words. Can't you how you navigate? Ooh, the, no, the, no, no. We the answer post. that one. Parenting as queer parents. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Don't entertain them. <gasps> Nida! Hello, Nida! I miss you too. Are you open? Can I come and get my touch of my microblading? Um, what is it that we have in Where's common? What's the question box? What do you so mean? you must open the question box. Um, I don't know but you can ask any questions on the table. Oh, here, 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 here. This is a question box. 
Oh, that's a question box. Okay, okay, hey, beautiful. Okay, I love you, I love you. Are you guys going to do live calls with your fans? I don't know about live calls, but we are doing what we're doing right now. Um, what makes you guys happy? Open the question box. Thank you. Hey. Uh, okay. <clears throat> what What makes me happy? Spending time with her. Um, brainstorming in the bedroom. Yeah. Making love to her. And more than anything else, kissing. And I'm not big on kissing, but I just love kissing this woman. Look, she's the best kisser ever. <laughs> um, I'm I'm happy because I'm my not gonna spirit tell is happy. I'm, I'm 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 happy. My spirit is happy, and like, just like, let's not even talk about what an amazing lover you are, how much I love making love to you, what an amazing kiss you are. You are just a pleasant person to be around. You calm Thank my you, spirit. Baby. You you Thank calm. You. My spirit. Thank you. Anytime. Okay. Question box. Thank you. Mm, I'm not going to answer that. I don't like to. Private. Mm, yeah. Oh, you want us to block that, that person? No, eh? no, no. See, person mm. needs to watch us happy. Uh, we are not going to block Sipesitle. Don't block Sipesitle. Uh, misery loves company. Uh, we want Sipesitle to watch us happy. Uh, <laughs> let him go cut his throat. Uh, let him go slit his uh, wrists. Um, we are not going to block him. Um, what are the challenges that we faced? Um, <clears throat> hate mail. There's been a lot of hate mail. Hate mail. Um, but more than anything love. else, love. Um, it's not a challenge. The amount of love we have gotten is bigger than the from, hate mail. Uh, citizens of this country, starting from the president of this country to uh, ministers of this country. Members of parliament of this country, normal citizens, um, other celebrities, um, her, her co-workers, business people, and people that we do not know. The, the, the love has been bigger. Yeah. And the love is what has made us stronger. There's nothing that can break us outside of, 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 of the love that and the hugs that we've received. So... The challenges, mm, mm. not that much, eh? Yeah. It's just when people are negative, you do, yeah. you, you kind of remember it, but it's okay. It's yeah. all right. We were strong beings. Yeah, there's just been one or two homophobes here and there, but yeah, they mean nothing to us. We're real fun. We try to have fun. Listen, if you're going to spend the rest of your life with someone, I think it's important to have a... You, you clicked on the wrong Yes. No, 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 no. I saw that one. Um, having fun is important. It is fun. No, we it's, have lots of fun. Sorry, I'm going to come to this question that I did click on to. Um, but having fun with your partner is so important. Being friends is super, super important. Um, mm -hmm. You know, if you're going to make a decision to spend the rest of your life with someone, it's got to be someone who makes you tick. It's got to be someone who makes you think. It's got to be someone who, who, makes, who excites you. Sure. Um, because a lifetime is a very long time to be with one person and I don't want to have an excuse or a reason to look somewhere else. And I don't think you do either. Never days. <laughs> okay. Do your children I've approve? I've been searching for you for 10 years. Do you think I was searching for someone to be bored with? And now that you found me, are you happy? And I keep saying to you, when I close my eyes. You depress me when you say Don't that. You depress me when you say Don't that. Depressed. Do your children approve of this relationship, Latoya? Yes, they do. With all their hearts. Yes, they do. With all their hearts. Um, uh, if we were okay with having our kids on social media platforms, I think that... And they want to. They hey. were next to you today. They're like... Take us to Instagram. Like, Getting married. Tag us. Tag us. Follow And we were saying no. 
that um, ain't gonna happen we need to protect you they approve of our relationship they approve of our love they approve of how we co-parent they approve of what it is that we have to put on the table for them um they they seem pretty happy and if there's a moment where they are not unhappy we've actually given them um carte blanche to be able to say whatever it is that they need to say to us because i believe it's important to be able to express yourself sure. we're not here to overpower our kids and to shove our relationship down their sure. throats sure. we are a family we're a blended sure. family and as a blended and family, a democratic family and whether it's between or a man and a woman or a man and a man I feel it's important that kids get to be able to cough out and say what they need to say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh my gosh. Isn't this the question the kids asked us the other day? <laughs> just, just, <laughs> last night. Just last night. Last night. They said, who's, who's the, the man, man in the relationship? relationship? <laughs> no, you don't mean any offense no at offense. all. And this is something I've also had to explain to Toya, by to the me. way, because yeah. um, she's never really been with a woman. Um, really? Look, I've never. Baby, tell me something I don't know. But you said really. Really means that oh. I might have maybe. Ooh. Okay. Oh, so, so, so there is no man in this relationship. Yeah. We are both women with vaginas who enjoy having sex each with each other with our vaginas i have no uh, intention of changing my genitals i have no intentions uh, of of becoming a man i'm a woman who enjoys having sex with another woman um, and there is no role playing in my relationship i'm not a man toya is not a woman we are both women we are equally responsible for everything um we both cook we both clean we both equally take care of 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 of, of each other yeah um there's equality in my house that, yeah. that, that, that that's that's what it is and and you know it's it's unfortunately it's, it's unfortunate that society wants to distinguish even in heterosexual relationships who's the man and who's the woman in this day and age, I don't think those words should still exist. Okay, I don't think role play should still exist in this lifetime. I know you've got a lot of friends, um, male friends, who are very, very successful, who don't mind coming home and taking the tie off and taking off the jacket and cooking and cleaning and spoiling their women. Yeah, they do it. One of my friends has got a wife who's American. She doesn't have um, a work permit yet. And the wife suffers from depression. Half the time when he gets home, the house is not clean. There's no food. Da, 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 da. This guy does not complain. He does not beat up his wife. He does not bitch. He does not phone his family. He does not turn his child against uh, 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 the wife. Okay? He takes off his tie. He takes off his shirt. He cleans the house. He he cooks. Because there's equality in his, in his home. A sexual orientation means nothing to him. He's a husband. He's a father. He plays a role. He understands the human being that he is married to what her weaknesses are and he married her with those weaknesses knowing very well what the weaknesses are so there's no role play there's no man there's no husband there shouldn't be a man and a woman especially in uh, uh, in this day and age this day and you age. know maybe before it made sense maybe um but in this day and age we we we're in a society where where a woman working and a woman having a job is equally as important as um, a man having a job sure. You know, our economy doesn't allow us to really have one salary coming into the house. Um, it's got to be two salaries if we're going to be keeping our heads above the water. Mm-hmm. So with that said, you go out of the house, you wake up at five o'clock every morning and you go and work. And I've got to do the same thing. 
can we both come home and take pressures, the household pressures off each other so that at the end of the night, you're not frustrated because I came home and I cooked and I washed the dishes and then I wasn't trying to give it up, you know? And I wasn't trying to have sex because I am more exhausted than you are because you get to come home and you, you get to like throw your feet on the couch and you get to just relax. Um, yo, guys, gone are those days. Gone are those days, guys. Gone and are those let, days. Let's move on with the times. Yeah. Um, we all have financial responsibilities in our homes. Yeah. So can responsibilities of uh, managing the household be equal? The same way we've got uh, financial responsibilities. Are we going to get married? Uh, hey, I got then. Okay, yes, um okay, yes. I'm I'm gonna marry Toya the and and i'm gonna start the process very soon so, so yes we are gonna get married we've spoken about oh this <laughs> uh, i can't see my life without her this is my soulmate this is the woman i've been searching for this someone i've been looking for for the past 10 years of my life like yeah th this is a dream come true for me so yes i'm getting married and we are gonna get married very soon uh thank you Someone says we're real fun. Thank you. Um, I love that you both are so open and can talk about anything you really are inspiring to society. Because we have nothing to hide. Um, not too many people can do what we do because people are leading very, very fake lives. People are living a lie. We are living our truth. We are here to engage, to share, to empower, to make a difference. Because we are real. Oh, thank you. Thank you, darling. Um, how's lockdown, lockdown treating, treating us? us? <laughs> uh, oh, lo lockdown. That was the best time um, for so, us, So eh? this is Hope Sana. Uh, Hope Sana. Uh, lockdown has been so good to me. Mm. I could have never have gone through a better experience. I was actually going through a lot before I met Toya. You know, it's just all been very heavenly. How everything around us turned out. It's another story for another day. <laughs> wait, wait, this guy is still carrying on. Wait, Anna, wait, full wait, stop, Muto. Well, you influenced her. Ari, she ain't real. Muto oh, Hana full stop, baby. Ari muto kere ne. Ari muto kere ne. No, no, it's not Arab. Um, okay. Lo lockdown has been the best thing that has ever happened to the both of us. Uh, as, as especially me, I got to know and understand a human being in the most unimaginable way in the shortest of time. I feel like I've spent a lifetime with Toya. Um, <gasps> wow, you're disturbing me though. I'm so sorry. What there's are a, you doing? There's a message that came in from someone I've loved. Okay. My entire okay, so, life. so the bottom line is uh, lockdown is one of the best things that has happened to us. Uh, we've spent the whole of lockdown stuck with each other, not stuck, um, being in a pleasant space with each other 24 7, learning uh, our bad habits, our good habits, and loving each other in the most unimaginable way. Yeah, you're right, baby. You're right. Are you guys considering, yes, we're getting married. We are getting married. <laughs> we are getting married. I'm going to get married to Toya soon, you guys. Oh, happy for you. Aunt Libu is so wise. I don't know who that is. Marwa, we did say Auntie Libu. Oh, man. Um, do we have a YouTube channel? 
Not yet. No. Uh, come but on. something is brewing. No, we don't have a YouTube channel, but something is brewing. Oh, me. Just now. Uh, I don't know how to do this now. There we go. Mm. We look yeah. cute. Damn, Kamago. We gobble. We are not going to block this person. This person is going to have to live with us. Our happiness. What we're going through, we are not going to entertain his misery. Oh, that's a cute one. Who's going to pay Lobola? Okay, tell Holly. him how you want to do this one. Tell okay. him how you want to okay. do this one. I'm, Holly, <laughs> so I'm the one who asked Toya out. Uh, so I'm going to pay the Lobola. And because she's a Sangoma, and, and she's a very, very gift, gifted um, child, I'm gonna have to pay Lobola twice. I'm gonna have to Lobola her, her dozy, and then I'm gonna have to Lobola her, and I will happily do it. Like, um, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm the one who approached her. I'm the one who asked her out. I'm the one who wants to marry her. She's agreed to marry me, um, but I'm, I'm the one who initiated everything. So I will be paying the Lobola. Ah, <gasps> someone has asked such a cute question. Sex or chocolate? Sex. A day. Sex every day. day. Woo, and then no chocolate sex, sex over chocolate. By and sex. And then, um, you guys, I love you guys. This level, could you please convince Latoya to sing Hero or Gunisela? Oh my Gunicella, God. No, sing. no, but wait, wait, wait. No, okay. Sing. I know you'd like to hear Gunisela, but you know why Hero is such a special song to me? Why? Because after my mom got into that, my, my parents, I was 10 years old, and my parents got into the worst accident. And uh, my mom was certified paralyzed from her waist down. And uh, she was in hospital for about a year. And they told her she would never walk again. And every day we would visit her in hospital. The only song that she ever asked me to sing was Hero. I know, I know you sing for her every day. You never it was me what? It was Hero. Go for it then. Just sing. I'm not warmed up. It's okay. There's a hero. If you look inside your heart, you don't have to be afraid of what you are. There's an answer. If you look into your soul, and the sorrow that you know will melt away. And then a hero comes along. With strength to carry on And you cast your fear aside And you know you can survive So when you feel like hope is gone Look inside you will be strong And you finally see the truth That a hero lies in you it's a long road when you face the world alone no one reaches out a hand for you to hold you can find love if you search within yourself, in the emptiness you felt, will disappear. Mm. And then a hero comes along with the strength mm -hmm. to carry on. 
And you cast your fears aside And you know you can't survive So when you feel like hope is gone Look inside you will be strong And you finally see the truth Hero lies in you Oh, 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 Lord knows Dreams are hard to follow But don't let anyone Tell them away yeah. Just hold on There will be tomorrow in time, you'll find no way. Hmm. <laughs> I could see. Oh, baby, oh, you. You, no. you can. No. Okay. You want me to get some time. You want me to get some time. I'm going to get some time. I'm going to get some How do we keep our romance alive? Um, Ooh, you don't want to know. It's uh, hectic. It's hectic. No, it's not that hectic. Right. It's, it's because because we do everything that we want to do for each other. Mm -hmm. um, we don't want to miss a beat. Every moment that we feel we want to express our love towards each other, we do. Um, I think the biggest romantic in this relationship is you. I think you are Hello. just a phenomenal romantic. You're a romantic at heart. You never miss an opportunity to let me know just how much you love me. Um, and I appreciate you for that. I really, I really, really do. I really do. You've changed my perception of love. You have, you've changed my perception of what love is and what romance is. Um, yeah. You're making me blush. I'm She's glad. making me blush. Yeah, of all people. I love you. I love you more. Just love me. Okay, let's go to the questions. Okay. Uh, oh my gosh, that's a cute one. What annoys you about each other so far, if any? Mm. What annoys you about me? You start. My tantrums. And I don't have tantrums, tantrums per se. She throws, okay, I've been annoyed once in this relationship. She throws diva tantrums? Nah. Not diva tantrums. Not diva tantrums. Um, okay, she, what do you do? Okay, I've I was actually fooling around and this is when I discovered or 
for a lack of a better word, realized how sensitive she is because I was teasing her and then I learned just how sensitive she is uh, because it was like more of a criticism and she put me in my place and I learned not to do her with that. Um, yeah, and, and I was annoyed at her reaction really because I'm thinking like, get over yourself. This is a joke. Yeah, she's, you've got a dry sense of humor. You're, no, I don't. I've actually got a very, very good sense of humor. And you said it yourself. No, 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 no. I've got a great sense of humor. But every once in a while, I do get... Every once in a while, I do get touched. I do get touched every once in a while. I think she was looking... The relationship has been so perfect. She was just looking for an excuse to be annoyed with me or to annoy me. I haven't really been annoyed. You're cute. You are the cutest thing ever. You are the most pleasant thing ever. <laughs> ever. Thank you. Um, oh, I get annoyed when she tells me we must fast because she's a sang woman. I'm not getting sex. And yes. it has nothing to do with Obo yes, Mom. Right? It has everything to do with spirituality. <laughs> so whether my spirituality I was... Want sex. I um, want sex. I 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 want sex. Wait. Uh, she's going to sex. She annoyed me when she denied me sex for, for seven, seven days. days. Because she made me pray. <laughs> <laughs> like, I had to pray and pray. And pray and pray and pray. And pray and pray and pray and pray. And, pray, and, pray, and, pray. Yeah. and I didn't have sex for seven days. Yeah, you annoyed me. Fast prayer sends away. Fast and, and detox and drink teas and pizza. And... <laughs> So for me, <laughs> so for me, yeah, you are not. Me. Whether you're a Sangwama, whether you're Muslim, whether you're Hindu, whether you are, um, whatever you are, Christian, uh, spirituality is spirituality, and spirituality goes hand in hand with de- denying your, yourself of the things that you love, because because you want to connect with your God, you want to connect with your God self, you want to connect with your higher power. Um, and so I, I I guess I dropped a bomb on her. You when didn't I, prepare me. I was preparing you for no. weeks. It's just the day just, that it came. Yeah. It was like, it was, it was, I dropped I was a heart. Bunny the day. <laughs> I wanted you. I wanted you. I wanted you. You don't do things like that. Okay. You prepare people. Fine, I'll prepare you better next time. It's okay. just, you know, you know. Let's move on. From which Raymond? Who's Raymond? Thank you, Raymond. Thank you, Ray Ray. I'm so happy for you. Are we considering getting married? Yes, Uzala, 77. We Auntie are considering Lebo is so getting wise. Married. This little one loves to call you Auntie Lebo. Come on. No, 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 no. I mean, I see so much love between you. You look incredibly happy. I am. Let's see what that one says. I'm asking for me, if either of you were unhappy or in toxic relationships, marriages, how did you get out? How did you overcome the fear of, how do we finish reading this? It's it's Yonela. It's Yonela. It's a personal choice. And and I always say to people, um, it's so difficult to give advice on the subject matter. You know more than us what's good and what's bad for you. And when you are ready, you will do the right thing for yourself. Um, You know, working out of a bad marriage or bad relationship is never anyone's decision, but a decision of the person who's been affected by the relationship. So we can't give advice on this. You will know. What's what's good for you? Yeah. You know, I, I tell Toya a lot of times that when I start behaving this way, when I start doing this, I expect you to walk away. Because if you don't, I will have no respect for you whatsoever. So you should set those rules for yourself and know when to walk away. Absolutely. Um, for me, one thing I've noticed about women is that uh, we have already emotionally left our relationships 
a long time before we've actually physically left our relationships. Um, you know, it is up to you at the end of the day. How did we get out of our toxic relationships? For me, some of, like some of these decisions came with a lot of prayer. They came with a lot of prayer for courage to do the right thing. They came with me sitting with my God and my God self because I could see that I am in a toxic environment, but I didn't have the courage to walk out. So the thing that I would start praying for is courage and strength to leave if, if I should leave. And if there was a chance for me to build on my happiness, it was for me to stay and try and make it work. But um, more than that, um, it was about me taking my power back from my toxic partner um, because we get caught up in that mess as women. Our toxic relationships start becoming um, a norm. It becomes a new normal for us. And it's about finding the courage to break away from that, Gogo. Uh, how do you leave? Only you can decide whether or not you're ready to leave. I know that I've been in toxic relationships. I know that Lebu has been in toxic relationships. And individually, before we even came together, we both needed to find our strength to leave our relationships that were not serving us well. And mind you, for me, it had no, and, for, and for her, it had nothing to do with the fact that I do not want to be with a man anymore because men are toxic. No, we just left what was not right for us and we found each other in the process. I hope that answers your question. Oh, okay, guys, uh, I'm not sure what this Chris guy is saying uh, but this is what I want to say to you guys. Um, I actually wrote a column in the Sunday World today because of, of, of people like him. So pay no attention to him. We are not paying uh, any attention to negative people and naysayers. Uh, we, we continue to say misery loves uh, company. company yeah. uh, we are not going to subject uh, ourselves to that. It takes a lot from someone, right? To get onto anyone's profile and write anything negative. It takes a lot. It takes a lot of bitterness. It takes a lot of anger. Yeah. It takes a lot of uh, energy. So do not pay any at, uh, attention to Chris because we are not. We are in love. We are thriving. We are in a very, very good space. Uh, we are all positive. Everything is working out for us. We are in the best space ever. So whatever uh, uh, Chris is going through, we wish him well. We will pray for him. Um, yeah, people like Chris are in pain, man. So don't attack him back. Um, let, let's give him love. That, that's what he needs, okay? What's the age difference between us? Nine years. She keeps saying exactly nine, years. nine years. It's not nine, it's eight years. Oh. No, you, you, you haven't turned 36 years. You are 35, I'm 44. It's nine years. Oh. Maybe yes, maybe love. turn off screen. Okay, what's happening here? I think you've right. Are we gonna have to call the kids now? There we go. There we go. I didn't even touch that. So don't stress about Chris. I think we're gonna have to go now. Ah, uh, what? There's so many questions. There's so, so please, much going on. Generations tomorrow. Yay! To the Paka, they will. Oh, you want me to call your name? Can you please call my name? Koliswa Liba. Koliswa Liba. Koliswa Liba. Say my name, say my name. When no one is around you, say, baby, I love you. You ain't running game. Say my name, say my name. You're acting kind of shit and calling me Golly. What's that sound of shame? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> who is the sh who is the chef in the relationship? Both of us actually. Both of us. Listen we here. Both love cooking. Listen. Cooking. You see that kitchen? It's like <laughs> who can outdo? 
as a whole, I have do you though. Do you really think so though? But you always no, compliment I, I, my meals. Like, no, like don't no, be you, shady, you, baby. You cook well. I cook more often because you're so busy. But you like and you compliment me more. So yeah. You can yeah. super busy, but you stuff. I love your I love your food. I, know you do. I love your food. You like just I know you do. No, but you cook well too. We but cook you cook gourmet. That's the thing. <laughs> I cook. You cook gourmet. And design I food. cook, yeah. When I, oh, you cook, <laughs> but you make it delicious. Now, it doesn't just look good to the eye, ne? Yeah. But now I cook soul food. So why don't you post my food on Instagram? Can I? You on the, you, you post everything. everything. Why don't you post my food? I should. Yeah. You cook amazing meals. Yeah. You cook beautifully. So we Stay, are both, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. We have to go. I cook like my mother, and she cooks like the the, the snobs that she's been surrounded by. <laughs> <laughs> we have to go. We have to go. We, I know. Oh, can you say my name? Tiu Dao Mkwanazi. Tiu Dao Mkwanazi. Say my name before you go. Pumeza two for one. Who else wants to say that? <laughs> Super cute. I love you guys. Oh, it makes the most bay. Please say my name. Uh Buikobo and my Kiman. Ma Makoea. Please, I think you can say this name, baby. Kiman. Kiman. Oh Buikobo. Oh, oh. Buikobo Makoea. Makoea. Yeah. Oh, Bev! Hey, Bev! <laughs> she can't wait for dinner. We can't wait to have you. We can't have to host and, you, Bev. And I know I have not picked up my parcel, Beva. <laughs> Go to parcel. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, baby. baby. Parcel. <laughs> Bev, DC, we love you. Watching from the UK, Yo. we love you guys. We're trying to get through so many messages. I think we're going to have to try and do this again. Please say my name, DJ Manenze. Uh, oh my gosh, guys, this is cute. Um, stay amazing, you two. Kiss, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys, though. Yeah, yeah, you don't want us to do this. <laughs> You see, from the first time I got the kisses, <laughs> shit ain't changed. Everything, everything. Ain't nothing changed. <laughs> so. Oh, Mbali yeah. marvelous. Hello, Mbali. Hey, girl. <laughs> when are you coming back to Generations? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Say my name. Mente 18. Kissed. Oh, mine, please. Fisher Masao. Say my name, Lerato Lutando. Love you guys. 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 Tongue kiss. They want a tongue kiss. Oh, honey, the tongue happens all the time. It just doesn't mean that you have to see it. Stop. Give it to me nice, baby. Nice. There you go. You didn't see the camera shakes for Zach. For Zach! With love. It's not a bad one at all. Say my name. Cabello Mapalala. Cabello Mapalala. Stop it. I like it. Kiss. Oh, I love to go. Oh, oh my goodness, guys, we love you. Say my name. Say my name. Oh, it's so amazing. Oh no, you have no idea how amazing the kiss is. Wow, hot. Love you. Love Good you night. Guys. <laughs>